Kendra, thanks. We'll see you in a few minutes. Only on Fox, Pickens and Anderson first responders just added a new member to their force. It can work underwater for hours and may save a diver's life in the long run. It's an underwater drone that will work alongside these first responders as they gather evidence and search for possible drowning victims. They tell us they're the only two counties in the upstate right now to work with these type of drones. Fox Carolina Shell Ramin is diving in to learn about what it can really do. It's called an ROV, an underwater remote operated vehicle, and they say it's going to cut a diver's time underneath the water substantially. And while the divers are underwater, they're getting a clear picture from up above. As a responder, you you work the scene, you're searching, you're diving, and, and in the back of your head, you're, you're watching out of the corner of your eye, the family standing on the side of the lake. You know, they're just they're hoping and praying for a, a good result. We've seen Anderson and Pickens County divers plunge into these upstate lakes, searching for someone below the surface for days, sometimes even months. We are always battling time. That's the first thing we're battling when we get that call. As they search for a missing person, many times they're risking their own. So a lot of people don't realize how deep Lake Cartwell is. Lake, Lake Cartwell at Full Pond can be, you know, in some spots a couple hundred feet deep, which is, you know, we've got nobody certified to dive at that depth. A new device on the force is making a splash. An underwater drone breaching the deepest depths of the lake. You're lucky to see your fingers in front of your face when you're diving. This gives us the ability to uh, find an object with sonar, with boat-based uh, boat based equipment, and then drop this down on that object that we found and be able to mark it or leave it there so that the diver can go down and get the, get the individual. A search suddenly changing from a blurry sight behind goggles to multiple eyes analyzing a lit clear picture from these TV screens. I would rather lose a $5,000 drone than I would a, a rescuer's life in a, in a malfunction of, of equipment or something like that. So paying this price up front for a device is, is basically priceless. Divers usually safely stop at 100 feet. This reaches depths of 330 feet. It can record from any angle and it has a robotic arm which which allows us to to grab and and uh, you know not just with an individual but also evidence it saves a diver fighting against their own clock and brings answers to a family faster waiting from the shore and as the winter months approach Pickens and Anderson County are using that time to train with this underwater drone so when emergency strikes they can throw it directly in the water in Pickens County I'm Shale Ramin Fox Carolina News and you can watch the story again and share it as well. It's on our Fox Carolina YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to get the latest stories and videos we post to the channel.